All right, today is the day, my final day here in Sri Lanka. And before we head out and explore around for the last time, there's something I would like to tell you about. After spending the past 90 days here in Sri Lanka, I wrote a Sri Lanka travel guide ebook. And if you plan a trip to Sri Lanka and you feel overwhelmed with questions like how to get the best deals for hotels, where to go, how to get around, which places are worth visiting, or how much does it cost, or if you live in Sri Lanka already and you would like to get to know the country even better, then this book will be quite helpful for you. The book has over 60 pages full with useful information, traveling tips, suggested travel routes, a detailed cost breakdown, and the core of the book is a collection of over 100 Google Maps links to locations all over Sri Lanka. Every hotel that I can recommend, every restaurant, every viewpoint, hidden gems, markets, and so on. You can find the book now by clicking the link in the pinned comment or in the description down below. And for the first seven days, starting from now, when this video is online, there will be a 25% discount on the book only for the first seven days. So the price that you currently see is already the discounted price. So I would be really happy if you have a look at the book and if you decide to get yourself this book, then you not only get a super helpful travel guide for Sri Lanka, you also highly, highly support my channel which I really appreciate a lot. Every dollar that I will earn with this book will be reinvested 100% back into the channel and there's also an additional chapter about the current situation. Do I still recommend to travel to Sri Lanka right now with all the economic crisis? The short answer yes I do. The long answer is in an extra chapter in the book as well. Thanks a lot guys and now let's start my final day here in Sri Lanka. All right, I have three missions today and the first mission is to get a PCR test. I need a negative PCR test for the flight tomorrow. And there's a hospital here where I can get that done. At least that was the case yesterday. I was here already yesterday to ask if it can be done here. Where was the entrance? I think it's here. I know I just see there's a man selling uh, coconuts, king coconuts. Maybe this is my last chance to uh, drink a proper king coconut. So I think we will check out that place after the test is done. Oh. There's an officer sleeping here. But I think we can just go here maybe. Hello. I want to get a PCR test. For traveling this. Right, the price here is uh, 5,900 rupees. And they said I will get the result within eight hours, so still today. Inside here? Can I film how I get the test? Okay. <laughs> In Thailand I was not allowed to film it. Let's see. No photo? No? No? Okay. Oh, okay. Video not? Okay. Photo okay, video not? Okay, then uh, see you later. Alright, and 30 seconds later I am out again. Yeah, they said uh, I am allowed to take photos, but uh, no videos. But uh, if that's the rule, that, that is okay. I think most of you know how that looks like. And here, before we start the second mission, I would like to get a coconut here. Hello. Hello, good morning. Hello. Can I get a coconut? King coconut, the best. The best coconut, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, please. I would like to drink it here. How much is it here? 150. 150. Okay. I know, I know. <laughs> I understand. No problem. America. Uh, go time, go time, president. You want to go to America? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have a straw? Okay. Stuti, Stuti. You are from? I'm from Germany. Yeah, yes. But uh, today is my last day in Sri Lanka. Uh, so I want to have a last king coconut. <laughs> so this is my uh, last coconut from uh, Sri Lanka. And the king coconut is the best coconut. <laughs> Only you are traveling? Traveling? Well, traveling alone. Traveling. Only me, yes. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, as far as I know, these king coconuts, you can only find them in Sri Lanka. I'm not 100% sure about that, but uh, this is uh, a very delicious coconut. Okay, Stuti, thank you. So yeah, my next mission is to find coconut roti. Because I think coconut roti will be the number one food that I will miss the most after leaving Sri Lanka. And I think coconut rotis are not so easy to find in another country. So I will definitely like to uh, yeah, eat some coconut rotis today. Let's see if I can find them. I actually do think that it is maybe already too late for coconut roti. It is now uh, almost 11 a.m. And I think that's more of a morning food, like early morning. But let's see if I can uh, try my luck. There are some stalls over there. Let's see, maybe... Oh no, we have these uh, buns with egg inside, samosa, hot dogs. Oh, hello. But I think no coconut rotis here. To be honest, uh, I ate coconut roti several times, but I only ate it in uh, hotels or in homestays or in like private houses where I was invited. I think I never really went to a restaurant to eat coconut rotis. So to be honest, I'm not even sure which places are selling coconut rotis. Maybe bakeries or small restaurants. Here we have uh, coconuts again. Let's say we have two uh, hotels here, and uh, Sri Lankan hotels are no places to sleep, places to eat. Let's see if we can find coconut rotis here. Hello, we have coconut roti, coconut roti. Yeah. You have? Finished already? Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ah, they do sell coconut roti, but he says already finished. Yes, maybe I am too late for that, which would be a pity. Let's see. Mm, no. I'm looking for coconut roti. Coconut roti. Coconut roti. Uh, no, 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 no. no have, no have. Coconut sambal? Coconut sambal? Oh no, I need coconut roti. No have. Oh. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Suti, suti. Um, well, that would be really sad if I, if I can't enjoy a final coconut roti because, yeah, that was like, I think, the favorite food here in Sri Lanka. If you ask me about my favorite foods, I think coconut roti is uh, the number one spot. I have an idea. Maybe let me uh, get back to my hotel, which is just around the corner here, and uh, ask them if they have an idea. I even think that my hotel also has a restaurant. Maybe we are more lucky there. So yeah, I showed you my hotel in uh, previous videos, the City Hotel Colombo 2, with which I am really happy with. Let's see if they can make me even more happy with some coconut rotis. All right, happy news. I explained the situation to the hotel, uh, like it's my last day and I would really like to eat coconut roti. And then they said, hey, we can prepare it for you, no problem. Even though the restaurant is officially closed at the moment. But they said we can prepare it. So it's now like half an hour later, they needed some time to prepare it. And I have to go to the sixth floor to eat it. but. We're going down now. Why are we going down? Hmm. Hello. Ah, oh, coconut roti. Hi. This is for me? Yeah, uh, one minute. You go there. I'll be. I sit over there? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think they even made a couple of them for me. It's going to be like a coconut roti feast then. Ah, oh, sit here. Ah, even with jam. Oh, thank you so much. Ah, nice. Bohomi stuti. Thank you. Okay, enjoy. Oh, awesome. Wow, I didn't expect that. Yeah, I told them that I actually like to eat coconut water with, uh, with jam, butter and jam. 
not sure if that's really like Sri Lankan style. I don't think that many Sri Lankans eat it the way that I eat it. But I like to put uh, butter on top and jam. Similar like uh, pancakes, for example. And that is the way I eat. Oh, I like the coconut roti the most. And oh, yes. Oh, freshly made, it's still hot. Oh, yes. That is what I was looking for. And I have one, two, three, four now. Wow. It's going to be a proper coconut roti. Uh, goodbye meal here. <laughs> So let me show you how I, I eat the coconut roti. Uh, I think in Sri Lanka it's very popular to eat it with, uh, with sambal, chili, spicy, but also with, uh, with chicken for example. That's what I have been told and I also ate it with chicken before. But uh, this is the best. So the, the butter is melting on top of it because it's still uh, hot. And then I add some, uh, some jam. Then yeah, I basically just eat it like a, like a toast or like a pancake. <laughs> I have two knives. I think that is a mistake. <laughs> but you can actually also eat it with a hand. Oh yeah, I, I'm going to miss this. Mm. Coconut roti with strawberry jam. Wow. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> oh, I get a juice as well. Yeah. Ah, oh, thank you. Water. Watermelon here? Watermelon. Ah, oh, thank you. Stuti, sissy. Ah, oh, didn't expect that I also get a juice. Spicy, no? No, it's okay. It's very okay like this. Spicy? No. No spicy, no, no. It's very delicious. Thank you, thank you. Actually, um, the restaurant is closed currently. Mm. But still, they... Uh, managed to organize this for me or make it fresh for me so I really really appreciate that that is a uh, as many times as I was uh, welcomed with hospitality this is also a great way to uh, say goodbye to, to Sri Lanka right Sri Lankan hospitality not only when you arrive here also when you leave and my final bite of coconut roti for who knows how long We've never tried coconut roti before. It's not comparable to like similar like roti shanai. Consistency is different, and I love the slight coconut flavor in it, of course. Wow. So finish all the, the coconut rotis here. Wow. Hardy rahai. Super hardy rahai. Very delicious. Just realized that we actually have a pretty cool view from here. Some uh, big buildings over there. I think in the distance we can see the harbor here actually, and we have the. The tower here, which uh, I forgot the name at the moment, but it looks nice, like a, like a flower, right? But yeah, let's actually head back to the streets for the final mission. Okay, thank you so much. How much you get? How much? Uh, no, uh, it's okay if you want, you can do a tip, I can give it Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Okay, okay. tip for the kitchen. Yes. It was very delicious. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Ah, they even said I uh, don't need to pay for it. Wow. Uh, hospitality here is on top, but uh, yeah, I gave it a tip of course because it was very delicious and I really appreciate it. Alright, and the next mission that I have is to uh, find some tea. I can't leave Sri Lanka without uh, proper tea, right? And I also have a friend who is in the country to which I will travel to tomorrow. And she asked me to uh, bring her some Sri Lankan tea. And she specifically asked me for Cesta tea, which I uh, tried to find before, but I couldn't find the type of tea that she wanted. I also have been to the official uh, Cesta tea shop, but that's currently closed. So I know that these supermarkets are also selling tea, also Cesta tea. So let's see what we can find there. But first we need to cross the street. Oh, somehow it feels a little bit weird to walk around here for the for the last time. The last time that I'm walking around Colombo, walking around Sri Lanka. But yeah, that's uh, what it is as a traveler, right? Yeah, by the way, I'm, I'm just leaving because my visa ends here. I've been here for three months now. So it's not because of the current crisis situation here. 
but I never planned to stay here longer than three months and these three months are now over hello ah here we have the tea right away so as you can see we have a great choice of teas yeah, let me actually look on my list she asked me to buy her specific tea sorts and they don't sell the the type of teas here that she wanted to have like a cesta green tea cesta real cylon tea cesta english breakfast cesta vanilla black tea and cesta masala chai tea all of that i think is not here but maybe i will just buy uh, other types of tea then by the way i'm curious to know if you're watching from sri lanka what is the most popular tea brand here in sri lanka i was always curious about that is it cesta or is it another brand so tea mission successful and yeah thank you to sri lanka for being such a nice country i really enjoyed the past three months here it was an enjoyable time even despite yeah, the, the situation in the past weeks, the, the economic crisis that is starting here, all the power cuts. I still really, really enjoyed the country and I will definitely come back one day to yeah, explore the areas of the country that I haven't seen yet. For example, the East Coast or some other destinations in central Sri Lanka. And yeah, also a huge thanks to uh, all the people in the comment section, all the new subscribers here in the past weeks. The channel grew from around 63,000 subscribers when I entered Sri Lanka to yeah, now almost 90,000 here on the channel. So the support here in Sri Lanka has been amazing. Huge thanks to you. Bhumi Stuti, thanks a lot Sri Lanka. It has been an amazing time. But now I'm also actually excited for the new journey which will start tomorrow. And yeah, if you haven't seen the previous video where I was talking about my time here in Sri Lanka, answering your questions, then check out the video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.